Hi guys, hope you're all having a great Thursday. So I'm here today to share with you some kits I will be using to design for the month of July for elegant embellishments. And I know it's not July yet, but I'm posting early so I can give you guys a heads up, a head start to run over and check out the kits. Make sure you pick them up before they're gone. Because if you guys know, these kits sell out super fast. Um, if you guys were able to get in on the June kits, which were the ones I shared with you, um, this first kit I'm going to show you guys will match perfectly back to those kits. And if you remember, I told you guys, run and get those kits because they were going to sell out. They sold out super fast. They got they were only going to be restocked one time, and then those ones sold out in like an hour. So I'm telling you guys, if you guys want in on this kit, or these kits I'm going to share with you guys, you need to run because I want you guys to be able to get in on it. And also, I have a special code for you guys who are watching my video. If you guys use the code Christina5, you will save extra money. So make sure you guys use that code because I want you guys to save even more on these kits, which are already good price. So that's a little extra for you guys that are watching. And of course, I'll have all the information listed in the description box below. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first kit I'm going to share with you guys is called the Pastel Alterations Kit, and this is 1B. This was already listed before. It was a bigger kit. It was obviously more expensive because it was more items in the kit. This one is kind of a little uh, condensed version for those of you guys who maybe couldn't afford a bigger kit. This one is more affordable for you guys. So like I said, if you guys like it, run because they are going to be gone and I want you guys to be able to get in on it. So I'll go ahead and I will show you guys what's in this kit. So I'll start out with showing you guys the trims and when I say gorgeous, oh my gosh you guys, look at this trim. Like I've never seriously seen anything like this before. It's so cute. So if you guys like the shabby pastel kind of colors, I'm telling you guys, this kit is definitely for you. Look how pretty this is. I've never seen like anything like it before. And I'm so happy to be able to work with it. You can see it has yellows, blues, pinks, and the white. Super, super pretty. And it just like... I don't know it's just so cute and I I don't know where she finds the stuff that she finds but she has stuff that you're not gonna find anywhere else so that's the first trim you'll get in the kit and then the next one looks like this so it's like a gathered kind of like pleated trim super cute it's like a light pink Super pretty, has these nice pleats already on it, so you don't have to do that part yourself. Super pretty. So you'll get that one, and then you'll also get this color right here, which is kind of like, I guess, maybe like a Tiffany blue type color. I'm not very good at naming like the specific colors of things, but to me this is like a Tiffany blue. Again, it's the same trim as the pink one. It's just in another color. Super pretty, right? So you'll get that one. Okay, and then the next one you'll get is this one. Super cute. It's white. It's really small and dainty. And this is a perfect layering trim. This is what the kind well, the kind of stuff I like to use for layering. If you guys know my projects, you know my work. Um, you know I layer a lot. So, for me, that would be perfect for that. So, you'll get a bunch of that one. And then you'll get this blue one right here. This is a crocheted trim. Really pretty. This is another good one that's, um, or another one that's good for layering. Really cute. So, you'll get a bunch of that one as well. And then you'll get this eyelet trim right here. This is a um, kind of like a light off-white color. Like a very light cream maybe. Really pretty. And 
these kind of trims do take dye very well so if you wanted to change the color up on it you could always do that I've been known to do that sometimes <laughs> so you'll get this one really pretty so you'll get a bunch of that as well and then you'll get this right here I'm trying to make sure this is the right the front side so you can see how pretty this is it's pretty wide it does have this extra part on the end um, but this kind of trim when it has all these different designs you could easily well obviously use it as a whole trim or you can take and you can cut these little pieces out and use them like as these individual flowers right here you can um, separate this part and use this as a trim or you can cut out the individual flowers and use them like that so this is one of those trims that's very versatile so I love stuff that's like that too because you can always just change up the design so you'll get that one and then you'll get this one the piece of this one right here this is real pretty too so it has these flowers again you can always cut this apart if you wanted to or you can leave it as is and then you'll get this trim right here Let's see which sides the front <laughs> so this is real pretty too and again this is another one that if you wanted to dye to match whatever color scheme you're working with you could easily do that you can separate it and use it as two trims or of course you can leave it as is and just work with it that way really pretty so we got that one and then the last trim is this one right here so it looks like this make sure I got the front showing real pretty so this is a nice scallop trim again you can always dye this to match whatever color scheme that you're working with I'm just trying to make sure I have the front <laughs> let's see Sometimes it is hard to tell because the backs are as nice as the front is. So it's like, which side's the back? <laughs> but that's a good thing. Um, so you'll get a bunch of this scallop trim right here. Really pretty. So you'll get that. And then you'll get some of these real pretty rosette hearts. Of course, you just can cut them apart. And you can really do all kinds of stuff with these. Um, you could just leave them as is. You can tuck them into your flower clusters. You can add some um, embellishments to the front or to, to it and then make like a big embellishment out of it. You can do all kinds of stuff. So you'll get some of those. Real, real pretty. And then you're also going to be getting some or two different pearl trims. So the first one looks like this and again you can use this as a whole trim or you can cut the individual squares apart and even use them as little embellishments or as flower centers but it's real pretty this is more of a off-white color as well I'm not sure if that's coming out on my camera so you'll get that one and then you'll get this other one right here let me get it out of the bag so this is a double layer trim. You can always um, cut this apart if you wanted to as well or just leave it as is. So this is a white and just to show you guys the colors so you can see the top one is a little more of an off-white like light creamy color as opposed to the bottom one that you can tell is white. I know sometimes on different monitors or cameras it's kind of hard to tell like the true color so I just want to show you guys that comparison of the two shades so there's that one so you'll get those and then besides all that oh actually no I have one more trim to show you guys this one is super cute as well this right here which I've never seen before super pretty it's like this flower trim and they are a little dainty so you could either use them as little tiny dainty flowers on projects or of course you can keep it as is super cute different tones of pink and different tones of greens and there's a little bit of white real pretty so you'll get that one 
And then now I will show you guys all of the bling. I'm going to use this little nifty lid here to help show you guys because it will probably be easier to see than trying to hold each one up with my hand. So this is the first ones you'll get. So these are different colors as well. These are more of a white and these are more of off-white like light cream color. And these are the bigger sizes. So you'll get three of each color. As you can see they're super pretty. These make really pretty flower centers if you want to make some homemade flowers or handmade flowers I guess I should say. They're super pretty and these are like the nice big size. They're not the small ones. They're about half an inch wide, so that's a pretty good size. So you'll get those. Real pretty. Okay, and the next ones you're going to get are these bling pieces. And again, these are bigger sizes. Like sometimes you'll find other places the small ones, but it's hard to find sometimes the bigger ones, like with the pearls. You don't always see those. And like these are big too. These are, let me see here. They're about half an inch as well, roughly. So you can see how these shine and give off that nice bling. Just um, because there's so many different little like parts on there, they just give off a really nice shine. And those are so cute. Super pretty. So you'll get six of those as well. I just like looking at them. I like the way they just sparkle. It's so pretty. <laughs> so you'll get those. Okay, so the next blings that you're going to receive are these. You guys look how pretty. And again, these are a bigger size as well. And these are about just a little under an inch. So it's a really nice size. Again, perfect for flower centers or great for tucking into your flower clusters. But look at the sparkle on these, you guys. Isn't that so pretty? I just can like, I get mesmerized by like blingy stuff. I just like looking at it. So you can see how pretty those are. So you'll get those. And then you'll get this piece. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so pretty. So this is a bling piece. And it has like a hanging pearl at the bottom. That you can always take off and use as two different pieces. Or you could just use it like this. But this has... And hopefully it's coming out good on my camera. But so much sparkle. You can see these little, it has like the rhinestones, like real rhinestones. And then like this part and then pearls, which is super pretty. That is gorgeous. So you'll get one of those. And this is actual metal too. It's not like plastic or anything. So it's nice. So you'll get that. Then you'll get these super cute, tiny blings. I'm going to keep them in the bag because they'll probably go everywhere. But these are real blings. They're not like the fake kind. Um, and you can see they're super tiny, but they're perfect. You can add them into your flowers if you want to have like a little bit of pop of something. These would be perfect for that. Or you could, you know, add them onto embellishments that you're making. You can tuck them into your flower clusters you can add them onto your trims all kinds of stuff um, but they are super cute you can see so cute so you're gonna get some of those and then the last few things you're gonna get for this kit is you're gonna get one of these uh, paper bags that you can alter up it's a pink and white stripe if you guys like to do like super cute handmade packaging or hand or like altered packaging, this would be perfect because you can put your goodies inside and then decorate this up and that would be really cute. So you're going to get one of those and then you're going to get three of these paper doilies and so they look like this. They're a nice size. Again, this would be cute for packaging. Or, of course, you can cut this up, tuck it behind your flower clusters, just have a little piece popping out. That would be really cute, too. Or you could always color these, too, since they're paper. You can just color on them if you want to change the color up a little bit. So you'll get three of those in here. And then the last thing for this kit is you're going to get some of these super pretty paper 
um, napkins and obviously they would be perfect for packaging or you could use these to decoupage like on a box or any kind of a wood project or you could actually do it on chipboard too but these are nice size and they do open up really big so you'll have a lot of material to work with with these but they're super pretty and they match this kit perfectly super super cute so as you guys can see just this kit alone is awesome um, I have two more to share with you but I just want to make sure you guys if you want this kit you need to run because it's going to be gone and then I'm going to feel bad because you guys weren't able to get in on it because the first time around it's gone and then once these gone, these are gone that's it so make sure you guys run real quick and check that out again if you want to save even more money use the code Christina5 and you'll save more just saying who doesn't want to save money so that is the pastel alterations kit 1b so run guys seriously run and go find it I mean go get it and I know this video is gonna be kind of long but I'm telling you guys these kits are packed with stuff and you need to see like everything in detail so that's just one kit so the next two I'm going to share with you guys are some bead kits and you don't have to be a joy maker to buy these if you guys see my last video or my last projects I did using bead kits you'll see I didn't make any kind of jewelry whatsoever I use them in my projects so that's what you can you can still have them and use them on your altered projects so this first kit I'm going to share with you guys is called the destination Paris kits and again you guys I'm telling you like I want you guys to be able to get in on it so you need to go down to the description box and follow the link and use my code so I want you guys to save some money. So the first two pieces in here are these super cute Eiffel Tower charms and they do have some white enamel on them. Super pretty and that does go all the way around so whatever angle you see it from you will see the enamel. Super pretty. So you're going to get two of those. And then these are so cute. You know how when you see like Parisian inspired stuff, they always have that cute little dog. And it's like, oh, I want that dog. So these charms are an inspiration from that. These are super cute. And these are nice. Like they have some weight to them. They're not like, you know, the cheapo kind of no weight kind of stuff. These are nice. They're heavy. Not too heavy, but you know, you could tell they're very nice quality. So, um, this is what they look like. You'll get two of these. So you could see they're double sided as well. Really nice size. Super cute. Aren't they? Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I don't know where she finds this stuff. Um, so you'll get those. And then you'll get two of these, like suitcase charms and so this is like a front and the back so they're both decorated and they do say Paris they have the Eiffel Tower and again I'm using my little lids because it's easier to show you guys so you'll get two of those super cute so there's those and then you'll get two of these little shirts because if you guys know Parisian you know they have super cute clothes as well like mixed in with their designs because you know Paris is like a fashion capital so what a perfect little charm to add to this kit you'll get two of these little sweater shirts I'm not sure if it's a sweater or a shirt but you could have it for either super cute right and they do have these pearls and they're actual pearls on here and they're gold tone so cute Again, where have you found, found these before? Nowhere. If you guys want these, run. I'm telling you, they're going to be gone. So you get those. And if you guys missed out last time around on the shaker charms kit, this does have a couple um, shaker charms in it. So for this kit, you'll get the clear shakers, the clear gem ones, and then you'll get the multicolor stars. And they're so cute. Again, if you guys saw my projects, you'll see I use these. I use them as embellishments on my stuff. 
they're so cute I'm like obsessed they're just so like you shake them and I mean obviously they're shakers but I like shaking them I know I go on and on about that but they're so cute I've just I've never seen anything like them before so I love them they're so cute so you'll get two of those kinds and then two of these kinds so that and then besides that you're gonna get a bunch of beads and then you'll also get let me see here some of these rondelles and I'm trying to show you guys sometimes it's hard for it to focus but you guys can see these are the kinds that have the real bling in the center or on the sides I should say and then they have the little holes in the center so you could use these for like charms or um, stick pens or anything like that so there's those you'll get and then you'll get a bunch of beads. Let me just put them up here. Okay, so the first ones you'll get are these pink ones. And they are, you can see through them a little bit, but they're pink. And they are acrylic. So you'll get a bunch of those. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it to focus good for you guys so you can get a good detail on them. Super cute. So those are the pink ones. So you'll get those, and then you'll also get the same ones, but in the clear. Really cute. And they do have the hole down the center. So you get those. And then the last ones for this kit you're going to get are these. And these are not acrylics. These are actually like real glass ones. Super cute. They're faceted. They have that faceted look to them. They do have the hole in the center. So cute. So you'll get those. And then so that is all the items in the Destination Paris kit. Okay, and then the last kit I'm going to share with you guys is the mermaid kit. And you guys know right now unicorns and mermaids are like all the rage. So I'm telling you guys, you need to run if you want this kit because they're going to be gone once people see them. So, okay, so the first thing in the kit that you're going to get is the super cute charm right here. And you can see it has that mermaid, like, what is it called? Like the, you know, their, their skin, like the, I'm not sure what the name of it is. <laughs> That's like right onto my tongue and I can't think of it. Like the scales or whatever for their, their skin. Real pretty. It's like a different tone blue. And then the back of it is just like that. It is metal, so it's nice. So you'll get one of those. Then you're going to get a bunch of these mermaid charms. And there are two different designs. So this one right here, and it's kind of hard to show you guys without them all falling. But as you can see, like, this one has, let's see here. Well, I'll show you guys. Okay, so this one has the mermaid tail. You can see there's some with the mermaid tail, like that. And then there's some where she's sitting down like this from behind. You could see her. So there is two different ones. As you can, right here is a perfect example of both of them. So there's one with the tail full like the full out tail and then one where she's sitting down so you'll get as you can see a bunch of those to play with super cute and then you're gonna also get um, some of these rondelles again these are the ones that have the actual bling around them not just the fake looking ones there's actual bling in there so I'm trying to hopefully you guys can see that pretty good because it's sometimes hard to focus on it but as you can see they're super cute and they do have that nice sparkle look to them so you'll get some of those and then of course you'll get some super cute beads in here so the first one you'll get look like this so they match perfectly they're the blue tone and they do have spots of gold as you can see and it's not completely covered in gold. There's just like little spots where you'll see it. Really cute. 
and they're almost opaque but not quite you can see through it a little bit really really cute so you'll get some of those and then the last one you'll get are these super cute they have that marble look to them it's super cute they're actually a little bit lighter just a tiny bit lighter than what I'm seeing here on my camera super cute it's like a white and blue two-tone with the marble effect to it and these are not like plastic these aren't like I want it I think they're glass really cute Hopefully you guys are seeing that detail really good. So that is everything that's in the mermaid kit. And I'm telling you guys, I know I keep sounding like a broken record, but whenever these kits get posted, it's they're gone. So I, I'm posting this video early before July because I want you guys to be able to get in on it before they are gone. Because like I said last time, the kits were, they were gone. And there's so many people that wanted them. So... I'm giving you guys the heads up to run. I'm sorry this video is so long, but as you can see, I wanted just to show you guys the details of everything so you can see it really good. So I wanted to make sure it was thorough so you guys, because sometimes you can't get the full effect on a picture. You actually have to like see it. Of course, you can't see it unless you have it in your hand. So I'm just trying to show you guys all the details of everything. So if you guys like any of the kits I showed you, they'll be linked below. And again, use the code Christina5 because I want you guys as my subscribers to save some extra money because I'm looking out for you. So make sure you go check it out. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'll have all the links in the description box below. Um, so make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Thank you. Bye.